put on my um, that lipstick for my Fab Fit bon Fun box that you guys keep encouraging me to wear. The lighting kind of messed me looking Looks a little ghostly nice. white. And so, good morning. There's my mom. Happy Sunday. And we got our little uh, breakfast here at Coffee and Breakfast. I got a get? couple mushroom caps. Yeah. And this shredded uh, is that spaghetti squash. Yeah, yeah. And um, underneath I have tofu scramble because mm. they make a really good one here. They do. And some roasted potatoes. Ooh, so yummy. And you got your coffee there. So it's a, it's a good deal for Yeah. Yeah, and good old coffee. What, what did, did you get? Get your glasses. I'm just going to look at your glasses. Oh, these are, are your reading glasses? They're cute. Oh, they're, they're very bright. You have the opposite eye problem. You have trouble, you need glasses to read because you're yeah. farsighted. I need glasses to, or contact lenses, I can't yeah. stand my glasses, to see far away, to drive. Yeah. It's because of all the years thing. of studying like this <laughs> as a student, I'm super nearsighted and I'm just right, completely right. destroyed my farsight. So you got some, you got those yeah. So I got a little bit of tofu and um, some shredded potatoes are under there, but they've got this cool um, beet apple slaw stuff that's got um, pomegranate seeds in it. I miss that. Yeah, it's over, um, you know, on one of the, on this cold salad bar. I just topped um, my tofu um, hash brown bowl with that and some blueberries and some turmeric and cinnamon. So, yeah. I love to just mishmash random things together from the whole food salad bar. You can yeah, pack a lot in this. Here. You can pack a lot in the little in these little cups, and then they end up being pretty lightweight because right, Sunday morning visits. This kind of thing is pretty light. So, yeah. Yeah, I was contemplating the, the whole foods uh, vegan for two um, thing again yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, we need to check and see if they have that here. I didn't see the brochure for it. My mom wants to try those cornbread, those vegan cornbread muffins. They had the other, they had the blueberry one and the chocolate chip one here by Abe's, but they didn't have the cornbread. Well guys, uh, we just finished our little coffee date and a little bit of an impulse purchase <laughs> here. I couldn't not resist at all. The um, candles and Whole Foods were 25% off and they've got, I mean, it was totally a packaging thing, but let me show you guys. Um, for the holidays, I thought it was actually a pretty good deal. It's this Patty Wax Company. Um, and this was the last one that they had of the mistletoe and mint. I'm so excited for it. Mm, it smells really good. It's nice and minty, um, but with it really does smell like a little hint like Christmas, of, of yeah. mistletoe. It's not just mint. This this is a nice one. I hope it burns burns well. But how sweet is the container? I this love pretty the glass. container. Yeah. Me too. And the cork top. It's supposed to be you know something that you buy and give as a gift because it has to and from. But I bought it for myself. A gift for yourself. <laughs> I'm thinking that's going to be pretty as it's burning because of the yeah. different facets. Had this not been the last one, I probably would have purchased two to have them right next to each other. I guess that's a good thing because that would have you know, been a little too spendy. And there are some um, uh, new candles at Kroger of the um, the Tuscany candle for ho for the holidays. So I'm definitely going to want to get one of those. So I don't need to like overextend myself holiday wise. But I did hear that the soy candles um, burn a little better if they set up for a while. I don't know if that's true or not. But. Well, hey guys, we just got back to my apartment and that is my um, Fall Festival Tuscany candle um, that I got several months ago in anticipation of it being my November burn and it smells really good. I would say the first five minutes of me burning it, I didn't smell much of it, but now that it's um, been going down, the scent has kind of intensified. So I think the very top, you know, tw maybe th three minutes of the wax is not as potent as the remainder of the candle. But it's, it's a nice one. really a pretty color. Yeah, yeah, I like it. And the label's really pretty too. So far, these are some of the best candles I've ever found. I've only been able to find these at um, Kroger. I can't, they have, 
They have a spoiler. What about like Marshalls or TJ Maxx? I've never yeah. seen them there either. Yeah, and someone, um, one viewer uh, lives in Austin, and she says they don't have Kroger in Austin. Oh, uh, that's terrible. Do they have King Supers because that's the no, one? no. Oh. King Supers is just Kroger in different geographic areas, Fry. and Fries is also Kroger in different geographic oh. areas. But within the state of Texas, it's just, it's Kroger, you know. So I don't know why they don't have them in Austin. I guess they strictly have H-E-B and Whole Foods and Trader Joe's there. And maybe um, Albertsons. Um, what about Aldi? Not Albertsons. Uh, yeah, Aldi they have. Randall's, that's the one I'm thinking of. Randall's. Maybe they because have Randall's that, for sure. Because Randall's is Safeway. Yeah, Randall's is Safeway. Yeah. But if you've got a Kroger, go and get you one. Those are good. They've got yeah. some delicious looking holiday scents though. They've got a cinnamon one and a balsam fir one, I think. I'm pretty excited for this. I'm going to go to Kroger on Thursday. Yeah. So yeah, take a look at it. What, what is the price point? They're usually like $7.49. I well, think they're pretty good. inexpensive. Yeah, and sometimes they have deals on them where they're like, like that one I got for 50% off, I think. I got that one really for $2.99 Kroger, yeah, the candlelight company see. ones you can get a really good deal yeah, on, and they're 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 not as good, but they're they're pretty good. I call them my um, fast food candle because they're kind of they burn fast. They don't burn they don't burn as fast as the Bath and Body Works ones, um, but their scent isn't as they don't throw oh, the scent as yeah, strongly. See, but it's nice. One, I'd rather have one that's overpowering. Yeah. Then I'm real happy with that. Um, Yankee Candle, uh, the Halloween scent, what is it called? Moonbeams Over Pumpkin. It's really it nice. It is a nice one. Yeah, that one you're burning um, currently. Yeah. So, I just repurposed this, um, candle jar that you guys saw me, uh, clean out the label the other day with that, um, charcoal tooth whitening toothpaste. And one of you guys sent me these cute, uh, labels that you can write, uh, on with this chalk marker and, and rub off. So I've just got this one filled with baking soda that I use to um, clean out my kitchen sink. So and how cute is that? Um, what do you think? It's perfect. Yeah. I love the little labels. They look really nice, yeah, huh? Thank you to whoever sent them. Yeah, they're really cute. This they're is the normal. marker, Bistro Chalk Marker. She sent some other labels too. I don't have them right here by me. I'm show them to you, but these are really gonna come in handy because I have a lot of jars that... I, I thought see. it was very thoughtful to include the chalk marker yeah. in with it because when I saw you got those labels right away, I, I said, oh, we've got to go to Michael's and get you a chalk marker. And yeah. Said, oh, no, no, the person included it. Yeah, I thought that was so nice. Too. But we're heading out to go to Witch Witch for lunch, so that's where we're headed. You got your water bottle there? Yeah. Is that your Tervis? Uh, yes, let's see. And she's not leaking today. Yeah, so cool. That's a good thing. She leaks. You've had that one for a while, huh? Yeah, I have two of them. They're handy. They are. They are. I like my bubble one. Ooh. So, Witch Witch had a strange odor. I think they had some kind of a. We'll just say plumbing malfunction. Yeah. Perhaps it was a little off putting, so we elected to come over to Jenny's Noodle House. And I'm glad we did. Yeah, my mom's really excited. We got the um, spring rolls to share with tofu, and then what'd you get? It's called the Art Car. Okay. But it's a uh, curry. Tofu. With tofu, veggies, veggies, potato, and rice. Ooh, looks Fish delicious. And and I got uh, Teddy's Not not Gay, the TNG, um, which is basically um, soba noodles, salad, um, tofu, veggies, and peanuts. So. And you've got buckwheat. Yeah, yeah, bamboo shoots. We like this place. We came once before. Yeah. Um, we sat outside, mm -hmm. but we prefer to sit indoors today. Yeah, I think I got this yeah. last time. So. Yeah, they have a lot of vegan options. A lot of non-vegan options too. I'm gonna try their uh, their summer roll. Mm. How is it? Good? Really good? So fresh. It's good. Yeah, it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I tried my mom's curry. It's really good. It's got a little spice to it. You like it, huh? Very much. Yeah, really good. And they're um. 
summer rolls, their vermicelli rolls, are really good. They have a lot of um, fresh basil and mint in them. And they don't have too much vermicelli in them, which I like. I like more, more of the flavor. Here, we came in here to Costco and I just sampled these spicy pickled green beans. They're pretty good. They have a nice kick to them. But you saw this woman with a large Christmas wreath. We're trying to find it. What is that? It's a little spa set for the American Girl doll. I had with one of these Samantha. dolls. It, it was called. She was called Samantha. They don't make her anymore. They have these different new ones now. But look, you guys! I'm so tempted to get this for because I still have the doll. She has this little mask and the brush. Yeah. So, what are these? Under eye patches? Oh, nail polish. Nail polish for the doll. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look, you can get an actual American Girl doll, the Kit Kittredge one. Let's go over here and look. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of tempted to buy this for myself. I, I don't need it, but my American Girl doll brought me endless, endless hours of joy. That's actually really cute. She's got the camera. She is $129.99. I remember, wasn't the, the doll like $80 back then? That's, a, that's actually a pretty good price. Oh, look, she comes with a little newspaper. Um, I like that. Why don't you get that and you can gift it to somebody during Christmas? Yeah, that'd be if nice. You adopt, one of those. You know, somebody on the tree? Yeah, it would be a nice one. <laughs> Some little girl would be very happy to have that. Here's their wreath. It's a nice one. It's yeah, fake. It's, it's very nice. I, oh, it's got, I think it plays music. It's here. Oh no, it, it lights up. Cool. Ooh. The lit garland is nice too. Isn't he cute? Yeah, I thought he was really adorable. Yeah, he's cute. Very sweet. <laughs> yeah, and then you get a little, a little candle lights up inside. Yeah, and his little lantern. Cute. How cute. Ooh. I don't think they had this moose the last time I was here, but he's really cute. Yes, he is. Guys, what a nice gift set this is. The Nancy Drew series. I really enjoyed reading That's these when I was a kid. Nice. Yeah. I've never read this book, The Alchemist. Is it any good? What's it about? I have no idea. I read um, it. Good. Is it good? I don't think you would enjoy it. Is it science fiction? I'm not always a fan of that. New Self, age. Self fulfillment. Stuff. Got it. Okay. They also have the Hardy Boys. That's cool. Look at these Harry Potter books. Are these the full length book with illustration? Oh no, just an illustrated Harry Potter. No words. Cool. Be interesting to read. Oh, well, it's good. Texas For blood. New, newbie Texans. Yeah, seven generations among the outlaws, ranchers, and missionaries. Oh, cool. What other new books do they have over here? Oh, Amy Tan. I saw them uh, promoting her book in the Costco Connection. Who gets the Costco Connection? <laughs> What? It's high yield reading. They have good tidbits in there. Sometimes they have good recipes. Here's a new a Stephen King book. Stephen and Owen King. Is Owen King his son? Sleeping yeah. Beauty? He has two sons that are writers. Owen and um, the other one writes under a different name. I see. I wonder if that's good. This is the audio book I'm listening to, Manhattan Beach. It's it's pretty good. I'm um, I'm enjoying it. It's by the author who wrote this, A Visit from the Goon Squad. I never read that either, but it's an enjoyable listen. I'm enjoying it. Oh, here, here, this I was really interested in. A Tale of the Once and Future Nutcracker. I saw this in the Costco Connection. See, Costco Connection, guys, is high yield reading. This, um, the guy who wrote Wicked made some sort of version of it in, like, a Nutcracker book. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to read that. 
Yeah, this would be. Hidden sea. Yeah. Well, hey guys. I just got out of the shower and I'm doing the Hanalabo sheet mask that one of you guys sent me yet again tonight out of that biggie pack. And, you know, I discussed it a little bit yesterday and that it, I detect just in wearing it, I haven't really looked at the ingredient list too carefully because they're in Japanese. I, I need to get a good translation, um, which I think one of you actually sent me. So I need to take a careful look at that. But um, I detect there's a little bit of uh, menthol or uh, eucalyptus or um, some sort of fragrance in this because it has that kind of tingly feel. So people with rosacea should avoid this or super sensitive skin. But it's super hydrating. When I um, took it off yesterday, um, my skin was just nice and, um, you know, nice and hydrated. Uh, and the mask was still, still damp. So I actually really love them. And tonight I had an easier time getting the, the mask out of the bag and putting it on. I don't know. Know. maybe the first one is is the most difficult kind of like that always seems to be the case right you know your your first batch your first pancake never turns out right that's kind of how this mask is the first one is kind of a, a bust maybe and getting it out of the packaging and then you know you get more sophisticated with each each thing I'm not entirely sure but I do really like these and I'm excited to continue using them um, but one of the things I did today and do after um, every time I use this silicon overlay mask um, I I disinfect it with a solution of um, half white vinegar and half um, just water and the reason I do that is to um, disinfect it and to cut down on um, there's a little bacteria that likes to form something called a biofilm on moist surfaces um, and uh, it, it called pseudomonas okay and it, it's a problematic bacteria, namely in the hospital setting. Um, it colonizes a lot of surfaces. It's kind of a water-loving bacteria, and it can cause skin infections. And in otherwise healthy people, it's not super common. I, I'm probably being a little bit, you know, hyper vigilant about it. I've never seen any reports of, you know, sheet mask inoculation for of pseudomonas, but I suppose it's possible. You know, most skincare products have preservatives in them that keep pseudomonas out. You know, people are always trying to terrify you against parabens and whatnot. Um, there's really no evidence that those cause human harm, but not having preservatives in skin care makes, makes it a lot easier for pseudomonas to grow. It's a water-loving bacteria, and you know, a lot of skin care products have some degree of water in them. You know, the half white vinegar, half water thing is uh, has is known to to get rid of pseudomonas or to cut down on pseudomonal colonization. It's frequently recommended, um, and so that's why I do it. Um, but I'm curious if you guys uh, how you all disinfect them. And then after I soak them in that that solution for I don't know approximately 20 minutes, then I just kind of air um, you know hang them up on a hook and let um, let them air dry. So you know I could probably just get recolonized. I don't really know that I'm doing it right, but I should probably just replace this sometime shortly. So comment below on if you use one of these, how you uh, clean it, and like do you keep the same one indefinitely? There's I'm not really sure what the standard of care for these. Is. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. I had a nice time with my mom. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!